It was a dream for the future. Almost 20 years ago, the idea of a spaceport in New Mexico was born. Detractors say it hasn't lived up to the promises, while Spaceport America says there is a lot of work being done that many people don't see. Now the facility just released a 10 year plan that could mark a new direction for what they are calling Space Valley. News 13's Chad Brummett is in this Frontiers at New Mexico story, took a trip down to TRC to talk with the executive director and hear firsthand from residents of Sierra County. Situated just under three hours south of Albuquerque, boasting a 12,000 foot runway and an 18,000 acre campus and centrally located in the burgeoning Space Valley. The pioneering post taking New Mexico into the space age this is Spaceport America. There are other parts of the country um, that have deep aerospace development activities and companies, but the one thing they can't do is they can't go to space from that location, and we can. In late 2005, Sir Richard Branson and then Governor Bill Richardson announced that Virgin Galactic would headquarter a new operation in New Mexico's Sierra County. While Spaceport America didn't officially open until 2011, anticipation for the facility was huge. New Mexico is going to be a leader in the space age, space tourism. Spaceport America is the first purpose-built commercial spaceport facility in the U.S. and is just one of two FAA licensed facilities for both vertical and horizontal launches. No shovels here for a $200 million spaceport. Construction on the spaceport used more than $218 million in public funds with another $76 million coming from taxes in Doña Ana and Sierra counties. Hopes were high in the mid-2000s that the spaceport would bring thousands of tourists and millions of dollars to the land of enchantment. As many as uh, two, 3,000 jobs in this area. Right now there's 600 just constructing uh, the spaceport. But some critics in Sierra County feel that promise of prosperity has yet to be fulfilled. There was going to be 100,000 visitors every time there was a flight that their tourism was going to boom, that every small business was going to be full, every hotel was going to be full, every restaurant was going to be full. We are supposed to see economic growth and prosperity. Instead, our county remains one of the poorest counties in the United States. I try to be optimistic that, that our involvement in the space industry here and around the world can create opportunity in Sierra County. Many in Spaceport America's County of Sierra say that they haven't seen a return on the investment made nearly two decades ago. So people, you know, saying, you know, we're putting money into this. Am I seeing a return on my investment? Or they're saying, I'm not seeing it. Not a big fan. How do you address those concerns and that criticism? Nobody can build a spaceport just out of the blue. The federal government built the spaceports in Florida and Vandenberg and Virginia. So New Mexico took it upon themselves to build a spaceport with our initial primary customer, Virgin Galactic. But we are building a bridge to space. We are building a harbor, a place where people can come and launch. Branson himself flew to the edge of space in July of 2021 with Virgin Galactic's first trip with paying tourists flying just two years later. But in November of 2023, the company announced that they would be suspending flights to focus on development of their next-gen Delta-class spacecraft, set to debut in 2026. They also laid off more than 70 employees here in New Mexico. When, when you guys first heard that, what was the, what was the reaction? Well, you know, the, their business plan requires a certain amount of throughput, right? You've got to carry enough astronauts to space and generate enough revenue to keep things moving. And they got a taste of what that would look like over the last year when they did these six flights. And they realized that they were going to have to get people up to space quicker, which means the, the space vehicle had to be able to be reprocessed so it could go back to space quicker. So we understand the reasoning behind that, and we understand that that was going to cause a slowdown. Scott McLaughlin, executive director of Spaceport America, points out that while Virgin Galactic laid off 73 workers, they still have roughly 200 New Mexicans employed with the aerospace company. Which means we probably have about six to 700 jobs that are also attributable to um, activity due to the spaceport. And according to an economic impact study conducted by the Arrowhead Center at New Mexico State University, Spaceport America brought in more than $60 million of new money in 2022 alone, with an average of just under 3,400 visitors per month. You know, they're doing stuff out there that's 
very likely going to change this world. Now, the facility is working on a new master plan that will hopefully bring new tenants in, residing alongside current companies like Virgin Galactic, Spin Launch, Aero Environment, and Prismatic. Spaceport has also signed a memo of understanding with Vorderplex Alliance, an organization focused on growing manufacturing in the southern New Mexico region. McLaughlin, a native New Mexican, says that he is excited to be part of a growing network of space agencies forming what is collectively known as Space Valley. This area between Los Alamos and El Paso, a mecca of high-tech aerospace, aviation, and guess what? You can go to space, you can go to orbit, you can go to suborbit. Um, it could be really transformational for New Mexico. Chad Brummett, KRQE News 13. While Virgin Galactic hunkers down to develop the next generation of spacecraft, as Spaceport works to develop more tenants and programming for locals, McLaughlin stresses the fact that the mission of Spaceport America is far from complete. And as with any large enterprise, it will take time to optimize the value stakeholders believe is held in this striking facility that calls New Mexico home.